Well, bee pollen is a bunch of different types of pollen that's collected by bees and then obviously made into little granules for the bees for food, obviously. And pine pollen is a single source pollen that comes from pine trees that's collected by humans. Um, so you can look at it from an ethical standpoint where you're basically, you know, you're not stealing food from bees when you're taking pine pollen. Um, you can look at it from a vegan perspective where it's not necessarily even handled by any animals. So, I mean, it's and consumed by anyone. Um, and then also there's a lot of people that are just a really... I've heard like, you know, bees are gathering pollen from any type of source. Like they could be getting clean pollen, they can be getting dirty pollen. I know one thing for sure is that our source of pollen is coming from, um, because we test it, we know it's coming from a clean area. It's coming from a really nice source. Um, we know it's not being, in, it's not, it's not, it doesn't have herbicides, chemicals, and all that other stuff in it. Yeah, the other, the other aspect of uh, the, the difference between bee pollen and the pine pollen is the allergenicity of it. Mm. Um, so bee pollen is, it comes from a lot of flowers. Um, and in populations, when you look at uh, the allergen response to, to pollen in general, you're dealing with anywhere from like six to 7% of the population is allergic to one or the other type of pollen. Yeah. Uh, whereas when you look at the, the, the pine pollen, pine pollen uh, granules are the largest uh, size granules or cells of all the pollens out there. So the allergenicity is, population allergenicity is a lot lower. Uh, roughly about 3% of the population has allergic reactions to pollen. Uh, that's one thing, that, that's another thing to keep in mind when you're consuming this product. If you're allergic to tree pollen or pine pollen, well, obviously, consuming it is going to trigger that histamine response and allergic yeah. reaction. But, uh, but the beauty of it is that it's less allergenic than, than the bee pollen. And it can also help uh, mitigate some of the yeah. allergic reactions that individuals have because microdosing oral allergen is one of the, uh, yeah, one of the one natural of ways of developing tolerance towards allergies. Yeah, absolutely. So there is like the... You know, bee pollen. I, I I do feel like it's it's a very good product, and it's it's something that I yeah. I, I incorporate into my daily as well, as yeah. long with bee pollen. Um, in, in fact, bee pollen has uh, phytoandrogens in there, yeah. in there. Like I mean, testosterone initially was was discovered in bee pollen yeah. as a source. It's just that when you look at the pine pollen, it's got a higher concentration yeah. of those androgens compared so, to the I bee mean, pollen. So I mean, you can really sum it up by saying that the pine pollen is a single source pollen that is really the best of all those types of pollens. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the best kind of that, the pollen in, in, the, in the bee pollen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you basically The bees get, very likely are gathering some pine, pine pollen. pollen. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sure they're grabbing any type of pollen they can get they their can little, get their little hands. Fluffy hands on. <laughs> <laughs>